Apparently after World War II, the communication security section of the lab cast about for something to do. Uh, they went to, somebody went to the blackboard and they listed a number of possibilities. Uh, Rosen idea was Project 8, uh, number 8 out of, I gather, about 12 or 13 projects. After a bit of discussion, it was agreed that Project 8 would be the uh, new role for that communications security branch. Uh, and uh, thus, NRL did get into the business of uh, not only upper air research, but rockets and ultimately satellites. Now, how did Vanguard start? I think it's fair to say that Milt Rosen started the Vanguard project and in addition started what became Minitrack. We had been working on an X-band device for tracking the Viking rocket. I remember meeting Milt in the hall and him saying to me, couldn't we reduce the frequency of that device and use it for tracking a satellite? I said I'd look into it and it just happened that Dr. Jacob Freeman had analyzed the X-band system, so it was a small task to change it to a lower frequency. And this I succeeded in doing. The result was Minitrack, which was named by John Mangle. Most people uh, are curious about as to what was the cause of the TV3 failure, the, the famous one where the, it rolled over and uh, uh, left a little six-inch satellite beeping on the ground down there. Uh, as, as I understood it then, and I've confirmed it with uh, Paul Karpasak, who was Mr. Propulsion in the field, uh, it was a, a low inlet pressure to the pump. And uh, I guess there was some disagreement between Martin and, uh, <coughs> and GE as to exactly what caused that low inlet pressure. The fix in any case was to overpressurize the tanks for the starting transients. They did not change the uh, final setting, but they manually overrode to pressurize the tanks. And, and there never was a repeat of anything that resembled that. So uh, there must, must have been a low pressure is all I can say. <laughs> Richard Corfield, in this article, he describes Vanguard One satellite as, quote, a hastily put together contraption of wires and circuitry designed only to send a radio signal back to Earth. I've often wondered where else he would send it, but... <laughs> <laughs> but he made it up. For the Vanguard satellite was, was designed over several years and used the latest transistors developed by Bell Laboratories slash Western Electric. Well, on Wednesday at work, a memo came out that said, 
there will be no paid overtime after Friday. And I thought, Phew, we're going to get some time off. <laughs> and Friday came, Friday came, and I went home from work tired. And we had company that night. I sat down to dinner, and uh, the phone rang. And Roger says, they launched Sputnik. And I said, good, now we know it can be done. He said, no, you don't understand. And he said, we've got to track it. And I said, can I eat supper first? He said, well, yeah, but come back right afterwards. And we worked the next three days without going home. 